Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and game 3 of a best of 5 matchup between Knight N and Mana here in the Zelnaga. What is this? this uh, no, this is not the Zelnaga Caverns, this is the Delta Quadrant. So yeah, now Mana spawning over here as the red Protoss player. And at what I'll call the 2 o'clock position, meanwhile we have Knight N spawning over here at the 5 o'clock position as the green Protoss player. So yes, once again, this is going to be a mirror match. We'll see when Knight End and Mana actually start to deviate from their particular build. Normally, yeah, we do see Knight End move out with an early probe uh, to do some scouting. Meanwhile, Mana, on the other hand, does not like to scout with that early probe. He likes that additional extra minerals as that opening and then tries to scout out after that 12 or 13 gateway. However, Knight End will be scouting in the wrong direction, so he, it will take him quite some time for the probe. Sorry, Peppy. Peppy the probe will not be able to find that base for quite some time. It will all also depend on when Mana, it, what direction he scouts out. Now, we do see a gateway now coming in, and still no scouting out yet, and that was a 12 gateway. So 12 gateway, and now continuing the Chrono Boost, trying to get more and more minerals and trying to get a stronger economy there. So Mana, um, I'm kind of surprised that he isn't even scouting out at this stage in the game. Perhaps he'll scout out after the Assimilator, but that does seem a little bit late. And no, not even scouting, oh, finally scouting out after that Assimilator is being placed down with a separate probe over here. So will Mana find, in, or will he be able to scout in the right direction? And it looks like he will not. So Mana will not be will not be scouting in the right direction for quite some time. It looks like he's just, no, is he just activating the Zonaga Watchtower and that is it? No, he's going straight across the f map. So I believe because he knows that Knight End did not come into his base already, that it must be some sort of cross spawn or at least not a, clo not a close spawn or the fact that he scouted in the wrong direction. Probe now in the base. There is two pylons down. I do not see the Cybernetics core just quite yet. And we now have a Zealot being trained out for Mana. So Mana getting that earlier, earlier building and Knight End was a little bit behind on this pylon. So that pylon and very far behind. So the Zealot training, it, you can see the Zealot already about what, 90% completed while this zealot over here down to 13 over 33 and now mana still scouting in the wrong direction and will not be able to find night end for quite some time he does know where he is but he will not know what exactly the strategies are whether or not it's going to be two gas or one gas over here the assimilator only one gas so far as mouse mana now getting that pylon and that cybernetics core over here on the bottom right side of his base and now this poor probe him scouting around for so long will finally be able to see in the night ends base and try to figure out what exactly the strategy is there is one zealot there to receive him as that cybernetics core is nearing completion we do not see the warp gate research yet coming in from mouse mana so that is, is a little bit of surprise as most protoss players immediately get that warp gate research yeah so warp gate already coming in for mana and this is all off um sorry for night end and this is all all off of one assimilator so we're currently running off of a one gas build so far and now we also see another robotics facility being laid down so both sides now getting that robotics facility night and finally getting that assimilator up that assimilator is a little bit behind but we'll see how this works out two zealots now guarding that front door as well army you can see mouse mana just trained up as one stalker so that stalker with two zealots should be able to hold off a decent amount of numbers as these um, zealots have a lot of hit points and able to hold a choke point fairly well with some range behind them we do have more pylons being warped in production wise and pretty even on both sides warp gate being researched there is a sentry dif um, differentiating knight or mana between knight and at this stage but still it may, it may be just because knight and hasn't had that earlier assimilator and perhaps he wants to train up, yeah, Immortals much more quickly. So that first Immortal coming out for Night End much more quickly. And now also training a Sentry as well. So it's Sentry, very, very strong unit, especially on the Delta Quadrant, enabling you to really just hold off a lot of units on your front door, especially now that there is also this back door expansion with this destructible debris. But no one has cleared it out yet. So both players, I guess they're just trying to run off of a one base play still. So Night End now training up some Immortals. This pylon will be completed. And this gateway over here as well. But no, Zealot's now taking, trying to take down these rocks over here. There is one observer in the air trying to give, give some scouting, some sight. And now the Stalker perhaps thinking that there may be a close by observer wants to try to take down any observers. Back over here, we do see an, an, another Immortal being trained up. So it's only, only Immortals 
so far and now we have the robo bay coming in from mana so mana maybe try or is going for colossus so with that with that colossus and that extended thermal lance range we'll be able to cut through those zealots much more easily however the immortals still will still be able to deal 50 damage a shot there is one observer in the air there and now it's just going to see another um, immortal pop on out of here I'm kind of surprised that night end is still only just pumping immortals Perhaps he doesn't want to spend the 100 gas on this Observer, but that Observer is such a crucial unit as more Zealots now being warped in. Back over here, Zealots have already cleared out these Destructible Rocks along with the Stalker and a Sentry. Does that count as a kill? No, does not count as a kill. As one probe trying to fight it out next to that Zelnaga Watchtower, Observer now coming in as these Immortals are starting to walk up that ramp. Will it work out? No, not quite sure as that Colossus now finally being chrono boosted trying to be trained up very quickly that that build time is 75 so it does take a quite a while and now oh a nice place force field so those um, units are just stuck up there and now knight and gonna lose two zealots without really gaining anything that's one of the that's one of the bad things about trying to run up against a protoss ramp if he has a force field he can split your army in half and then just finish it off with stalkers and zealots stalkers and immortals over there we still see more another colossus or this colossus nearing completion and the extended thermal lance range and now just getting started and we'll need another 110 units of time to be completed as more zealots being trained up over here so night end really focusing on zealots and now we see one pylon over here not quite sure what that pylon is there for i guess just for some scouting purposes and that warp gate has been completed as well as you've been seeing some zealots already warping in back over here this is now off of a, we will now be having three gates as this robo bay nearing halfway completion on this one extended thermal lance range one phoenix continuing to just do a lot of scouting able to see all the probes able to see the robotic space so he knows that there will be colossus joining in momentarily still do not see an observer just quite yet as night and now sitting on 600 minerals that's a fair amount of minerals as night and now training up more phoenixes so we are going to probably get three to four phoenixes and into the play and once those four phoenix stars are, are in play they will be able to snipe down um, probes very easily all it really all it takes is i believe um the, the, i believe the the phoenixes yeah they deal um 20 damage per attack so once you have three phoenixes you can single shot after one graviton beam and yeah that poor probe is it going to get picked up no not going to get picked up as these stalkers now trying to shoo away this over here this one pylon um, catching sight of these phoenixes trying to come in not much is going to be happening over here we finally see some movement as mana now moving out with this colossus a couple stalkers one sentry and uh, i'd say about what a dozen zealots or a, a little bit shy of a dozen zealots there there is still that one observer however that observer barely barely shimmering it's very difficult to tell unless you start rotating your camera for you to see it uh, so i guess that's one of those tricks if you have a if you have a a unit that is cloaked in your base and you and you can't really tell where it is you can try to rotate your camera and you should be able to see it since in the, the unit does bend light around it back over here in come these colossus colossus with extended thermal lance range now taking some damage from those phoenixes phoenix is pulling back able to get off a couple quick shots but that range of nine just dealing so much damage stalkers and zealots trying to push through we do have the twilight council for night end but we do not have that research just quite yet immortals now trying to push through and able to get a lot of damage down taking down a lot of these stalkers so army wise knight and really on the winning side of this fight here we do see a force field but down goes another unit and now we're going to start seeing graviton beams and that is going to be a very very bad sight indeed as this one stalker going to get taken down graviton beaming another unit and now as, the, as these units just get dropped they are going to get taken down and graviton beaming absolutely beautiful play by mouse by knight n picking off four units in transition there and now we have a 2600 mineral army versus a 975 production wise you see nothing else coming in from mana so mana it, what he's got is what he has to try to fend off any attack but knight and not moving in with these four immortals and three zealots so it will give a mana some time to rebuild back over here we do see an expansion coming in from knight and and with this observer in here kind of curious as to what's really going to be happening harvester wise we are sitting on 35 harvesters versus 32 and now these uh, now these phoenixes should be able to start sniping down some of these probes as stalkers are, are now trying to guard the gate over there gonna graviton beam one two probes three probes now already taken down and that is it so three probes taken down no perhaps gonna go back in four probes 
five probes. Just a Phoenix constantly harassing six probes, seven probes. One Phoenix will get shot down. There it goes. But the other four will be able to come back home. Back over here, we still have a one. Why are there three probes in the center of the map? Not quite sure. As these units once again returning home. 2950 versus 1600. As more and more units are being chrono boosted, we do have that Zealot's legs now being researched. So Zealots will be able to charge up that ramp and try to get within that distance and try to t and, and take down some of these stalkers and these zealots over here. Back over here, we do still have this one observer giving sight to the natural expansion. Night and yeah, Night and should be able to see that observer if he was really looking for it, but it does not look like he wants to spend. Oh, I take it back. Now I'm building an observer over here. Production wise, two probes, one Colossus, four mana. Night and producing a second Stargate. So a second Stargate. Um, perhaps now going to start trying to go for some void rays as I cannot believe that he can really be able to train up that many phoenixes only off of four gas back over here we do see these phoenixes coming over here stalkers however and in that mineral line trying to protect some of those very very weak vulnerable probes however the stalkers now need to get within this position and now th there are two stalkers here gonna go ahead and graviton beam one of those stalkers that stalker now down a second stalker now gonna get taken down as more stalkers trying to come back in and now probes getting shot down as well five stalkers now getting in within position as more of an army now being produced knight and sitting at a 3300 and now we finally see some void rays being trained so we are now training up three void rays and one still in that q system as knight and now sits on a fair number of what immortals five immortals nine zealots and quickly taking out taking down that one observer stalkers sitting over here perhaps trying to protect themselves even further protect these probes even more over here and more stalkers over here so mouse mana hoping to be able to come back into this game does not want to engage just quite yet just wants to try to do some fighting i'm just trying to build some bases and let night and, and suicide some units into that base over here however these phoenixes are just way too fast and able to pick off a lot of these units and a sentry getting caught so that's a very very expensive hundred gas unit quickly getting taken down there so these phoenixes now will be able to pull back away movement speed of 4.25 just so effective at dealing with that with that harassment back over here mana needs to get more and more gas needs more minerals as well sitting on 35 harvesters as those phoenixes have gotten a lot of kills five kills three kills two kills just i would say about almost two dozen or a dozen and a half kills so far and now going to continue to add to those numbers as those units pull back once again stalkers only deal 10 damage per attack against a phoenix because the phoenix is light and i do not believe there are currently any weapons upgrades and um, for um, for any of these stalkers stalkers are still zero 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 and now phoenix is trying to come in stalker able to get off two and um, some able to get off two shots and knight and now perhaps trying to get up to critical mass and will try to just steamroll his opponent more phoenix is joining in on this fight and now however mana with a very impressive force four colossus a lot of zealots and stalkers are moving out and now how is this engagement really going to work these immortals trying to hide back over here not quite sure that why they're running away from the party as these stalkers now trying to push in and now this one pylon will get taken down um, gateway is now getting taken down over here and mana in, in a very very dominant very uh, powerful position over here as these immortals trying to get trying to give chase are we going to start picking up some of these units now going after those um, colossus those colossus now getting uh, torn apart by these phoenixes over here and now there's those void rays the void rays just completely catching these units off guard and now those void rays able to start charging up their attack able to get a very very fast attack rate now graviton beaming those stalkers and because those stalkers are the only thing that can counter these void rays and that's going to be gg yeah there we go so um really those last minute those void ray tech switch is really what gave night and the game in this matchup also a really really smart maneuver by night and a graviton beam the last couple of those stalkers to protect those void rays those void rays would not have anything that could attack them back colossus moves fairly slowly compared and void ray moves about the same speed so a void ray can chase a colossus and just charge up that attack Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay here on, excuse me, here in, on the Delta Quadrant. Stay tuned for, I believe, game four in this series between Mouse Mana and Night End. Was this game three or game four? I believe this was actually game, yeah, this was game three. Once again, thanks for watching.